is the uh, largest office I've had in my uh, 11 and a half years, so uh, this is it. I don't think I'm going to move anymore. I am an ordained United Methodist pastor in my real life. The Capitol Hill Bible Study Group presented me with this 1611 King James Bible. A lot of pride right here because I represent uh, Harry Truman's district, and last year I was awarded the Harry S. Truman Public Service Award. This is maybe uh, the most significant uh, picture in my, in my office. I lived in this house with my mother, father, and three sisters until I was uh, seven years old. This is not too far from Dallas, Texas. There are no uh, electrical wires running in here. Uh, there's no plumbing. So we had no electricity, no uh, indoor plumbing. In fact, you have to walk about 30 or 40 yards down a hill uh, to the outhouse. This is perhaps the greatest saxophonist uh, in the history of, of the galaxy. Charlie Parker, born and raised in Kansas City, buried in Kansas City. I love my view because I can see the stadium and I can gauge the traffic, you know, if I'm getting ready to go to the airport by just looking out of the window. Most people probably don't know this, but the Negro Leagues were started in Kansas City, Missouri. The Kansas City Monarchs baseball team was formed there. There is no National World War I monument in Washington. In Kansas City, at the end of the war, the people got together and built the most majestic monument. If this were on uh, the mall, uh, it would rival uh, the Washington Monument. This is all, we're on the Great Wall of China. Marsha Fudge was the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. We had to protect her from the invading hordes. This is Angela Davis. Back in my days as a, a regional vice president for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the organization founded by Martin Luther King Jr., I had the opportunity to interact with a lot of the civil rights figures of the time. I have a cousin, Eldridge Cleaver, who was a member of the Black Panther Party. I have another cousin who's a Black Panther member, uh, Pete O'Neill, who is the only exiled Black Panther today. He is in Arusha, Tanzania. Uh, and I've been fighting to try to get him home. He's like 75 years old and uh, never uh, committed any kind of crime. In uh, Kansas City, Gates Barbecue is uh, one of, it's an institution. There are seven restaurants in Kansas City and uh, the owner, uh, Ali Gates, is a, a, a very dear friend of mine. And so I have all of the products of Gates Barbecue. Everybody who comes by uh, tries to steal from a member of Congress. Uh, and I'm, so I have to watch everybody coming in. And of course, this is the president and Mrs. Obama. As you can see, I was trying to stand closer to the gorgeous Miss Obama than the president. Not that I have anything against the president, but uh, if you get a chance to stand close to one of them and it's your choice, you move closer to uh, Mrs. Obama. I got good sense.